It's time for another home Northern Michigan game against another rival here at the Superior Dome, a.k.a. the Kibbe Dome. It is Central Michigan. They are 1-7 on the season, and they only average 19.5 points a game, and they give up over 30 points a game. We have three visitors coming in, some big ones from the Prospect Spotlight episode, and they have a defensive tackle out for the season, as well as an offensive lineman who's questionable. A third and one for Central Michigan early in the ball game is picked up by Davis Heinzen for 10 yards. Second and eight later on, it's Ingram. He's going to pick up the first down, 12-yard pickup for Jordan Ingram. They give it right back to Jordan Ingram on first and 10, and he goes and he picks up 16 yards for the Chippewas. They move into enemy territory deep inside our territory, but Richardson goes down, sacked big. Big loss by Dill Burt, number 69. Nice. It is a fourth and 13, and the Chippewas are going to go for three, and they get on the board first with a 3 nothing ball game. Chippewas lead it, and Clink with his first offensive possession. He's going to throw it over to Rigo Berto, one of his top targets here in these last few games. 18 yards, and then it's Baza Beatson on the ground. Man, I am so proud of what he has done this year. Eight-yard pickup. He's got three for 18 early in the ballgame. It's a third and 10 now for NMU, though. Maybe perhaps a drive stall. Clink breaks a tackle, then attempts to get that one over to Hornsby, but it is deflected by Marcel Lewis. And it's back in the hands of the Central Michigan Chippewas. Here goes Ingram, and he takes it right side. He has got the legs cut out from under him, but not before he gains 13 yards. It's a second and five for the Chippewas. Back to Ingram they go, and another first down pickup. Jordan Ingram really getting the job done for Central Michigan. Now a second and eight. Richardson going to turn. He's going to spin, and he is going to take off for a nice gain and a first down again for the Chippewas inside the 30-yard line of Northern Michigan. 14 seconds to go, first quarter on the clock. There's a throw out of the backfield to Jordan Ingram, and he is inside the 10-yard line. First and goal after a gain of 18. That is the end of the first quarter. Central Michigan leading 3-0 and driving here on Northern Michigan. We will be back right after these messages. And we're back for that second quarter, 6.55 to go at Richardson with a play fake. He had a man across the middle, but a drop pass. Daniel Richardson visibly upset, and it is fourth and goal. They're going to settle for three yet again. That one is up and through the uprights, and it's a 6 nothing ball game. So NMU's got to get on their horse. They've done a decent job of bending and not breaking on defense. Baza beats in with an 11-yard gain there. They need to not stall on offense. There's a quick throw, and that's Calvin Mentor out of the backfield. He will get into the red zone with a gain of seven. Second and nine. Clink going to hand this one. Baza beats in, going to take it, and he is going to find 10 yards. Nice pickup and a first and goal for Northern Michigan. Here's Clink. He's going to hand it off to Baza. Baza's got nowhere to go, though. That'll lead to a fourth and goal. And NMU looking to cut this lead in half. Field goal is up by Christian Klump, and it is good. And the score's cut in half. It's 6-3. Here, 232 to go in the half. It is Richardson, and he is going down. That is a big sack. No pause. And it is 6-3 still. Northern Michigan with the football. Baza beats a nice run and a nice first down pickup with 155 to go in the half. Here's Clink looking to throw, trying to roll a little right, but he stops and he throws it to Brewski. First down, 11 yards. Nice job, Brew. Here's a third and 22, and they're going to hand it to Baza. Beats in here, and he's got nowhere really to – well, he does pick up nine, but nowhere near the first down marker. Let's be honest, really bad play call and they will be forced to punt. 38 seconds to go in the half. They're coming out of the backfield. It's Heinzen, a little tight end play for 18 yards. 30 seconds to go in the half. Richardson throwing it over to Heinzen again. Breaks a tackle, and he is inside the 30, inside the 20, and finally brought down inside the 15-yard line with a gain of 37 yards. Four seconds to go in the half. Last play potentially, and he's not going to get there. Daniel Richardson tried to take it himself, and he is brought down shy of the goal line. So a little bad clock management going to cause Central Michigan to go in the tunnel with only a three-point lead. We will be back after this for the second half. Time for the second half, NMU with the football first, and it will be Clink throwing the football. He's looking to throw anyways, and he finds a guy. It is Calvin Mentor for 21 yards. Mentor starting to come alive here later in the season. 
Plank over to Bedgood. Nice completion. Gains exactly four, which is exactly what they needed, and it is a first down play. Third and six now. Plank, a little play fake. Gets it over to Bedgood. Bedgood again. Nice job knowing where the sticks are and getting past them. Nine-yard completion and Bedgood, two for 13. Here's Clank on second and seven. He's going to throw this one. He's got Hornsby. Nice play inside the 10, an 18-yard gain. So NMU, a little bit of driving here in the first half, in the first part of the second half, but that one's intercepted and it is Hook going the other way to the 30, to the 40, 50, Clink giving chase and he brings him down by the shoestrings, NMU with the first turnover of the day and it's Max and Hook with a really nice pick. Here's Richardson, he's going to throw it up the middle and Jackson, wow, what a threading of the needle to Iron Jackson for first down. Here's the third and 16. This one going to Swan. He's not going to get there, but we've got a flag on the play. And that is going to be on the NMU defense. A face mask coming against the Wildcarts and Sav Rambo. Automatic first down. Just not what you want to see at this stage in the game, not going to lie. 6-3, still the score. Third and goal, so defense really battling after the penalty. Here's Richardson on a play fake, throwing left side, and that is caught, and Lutz brings him down, but Iron Jackson crosses the plane. A touchdown, and the first one of the game for either team gives Central Michigan a 10-point lead. 143 to go in the football game. Baza beats him, going up the middle, but he is stopped. It will be a fourth and inches. What will NMU do? Are they going to choose to go for it? Yes, they are. And Baza Beats is going to take the football, and he goes up the middle, and he gets across the 50-yard line with an 8-yard run. So NMU's drive continues. Alejandro Klink going to throw this when he gets it over to Calvin Mentor. Mentor with a spin move, and he is to the 30 with an 18-yard play. Now 13-3 still, Alejandro Klink rolling to his right. He's got a wide open Calvin Mentor trying to make the spin, but he's brought down. It's a 21-yard gain, though, and that is going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. Very defensive, very low scoring. A 13-3 ball game. Can Northern Michigan come back? We'll find out after this. And it is the fourth quarter, 624 to go. Third and goal for Clink and company. And he finds Hornsby, but he cannot make the grab. Hornsby just too many drops this season. And there's another one. So the field goal is taken and good. It is back to a seven-point ball game. Defense is going to have to play. Here's Ingram, and he goes left side. And defense is nowhere to be found before Levi Frost is able to knock him out of bounds after a big gain. Third and five now. Richardson going to... Play fake, and then he's going to get it over to Iron Jackson. That is the guy that needs to be watched in this ballgame. Iron Jackson making a couple of big plays already here in this second half. Third and nine, the play to Stephanie, and he's not going anywhere. To JV and Stephanie, nowhere to go. Just a yard for him. He's got two runs for six on the day. They're going to be forced to go with another field goal attempt here. That one easily up and easily good to extend the lead back out to 10. So 2.01 to play. Clink and company got to get it going. There's Rigoberto Ramirez with a nice first down play. They're going to need to do more of that. Here we go. Clink looking for a man. He finds Long, the backup tight end. There we go. Clint Long with a very nice play. That's the Juco right there, Juco Jr. And now Clink. Looking, he's going to roll to his right. He had a man there, and he finds him. Calvin Mentor for 20 yards a little bit later than maybe you would have liked him to throw the ball, but it still works out in the end. They need this touchdown. Here's Clank rolling to his right. Now he has nobody. He's just going to take off and gain the quick four yards on the ground. Alejandro Clink. So now fourth and six. Christian Klump has that kick up, and he has it good. Three field goals from Christian Klump today. That is definitely not the way we expected NMU to be scoring. It's 16-9. They need to get the football back. Here we go. Second and 10. Ingram takes it, and that's close to the first down marker. But the third and two is manageable. They can make this stop. Here it is. This is for all the marbles, and Ingram takes it. He goes to the left side. Cray had him, but he couldn't bring him down. And Jordan Ingram with a five-yard run is going to end this game in favor of Central Michigan in victory formation. They win this game by just a touchdown. Very, very close. If any of those field goal drives could have gone for touchdowns, Max and Hook, no doubt, the player of the game because that interception really took the life out of NMU at that point. 
And that was the sole turnover of the football game. Baza Beatson did really, really well. He ran for 121. You love to see it. Mentor played really well today. 88 yards. Not very often anymore that he really leads the way in receiving, but he's been a hell of a kick returner. We didn't really get to see that today. Frost with 10 tackles. When the safety's got to make that many tackles, you know they're getting to that second and third level. Miles Burrow, Dill Burt, and Hartman with sacks today. And there just weren't turnovers. This team just does not draw the turnovers that maybe they need to in order to get back into some football games in which they have played themselves out. However, looking at some of these ranked matchups, Clemson's able to beat Syracuse. That's a big battle of two ranked teams. Michigan with a big thrump over Indiana. Washington a big win over Oregon State. Look at that overtime game between Oregon and Washington State. Uh, then you look at TCU beating Arkansas. You look at Pitt killing Virginia, Alabama, Mississippi State. Look at our conference, though. Central Michigan ends up getting a win against this Toledo over Ball State in overtime. Akron continues to win. They're a ranked team now. Miami, Ohio continuing to win. They are very good. And Western Michigan loses. So we actually have to take on one of these ranked teams in our conference. We're going to be playing the Akron Zips. They're 9-1, and 5-1 and one in the conference. Of course, Corso is going to go with them. They've been a powerhouse. Look at that. No ranking worse than 70, and most of them are 39 or better. So what do you think is going to happen against the Akron Zips? Let me know in the comments section below. Give me any score predictions. Let me know what you think of the team moving forward. We only have a few games left. Make sure you check out links in the description to the Discord and the Twitch. Come hang out with us. I swear we have a good time. Kaz Cray Gaming, Rigoberto Ramirez, Raider Bear Comics, Christian Horn, Derek Vance, TNJ, and V Dub Productions get special thank yous for being channel members, and T Clink24 with a specialized shout out for being a franchise quarterback. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you guys in the comment section on the next video. Take care. I feel you face somehow.